Now, Mr. Davidson, Captain Wirtz knew that dogs tore and killed prisoners of war. It was commonly known. Yes, sir. Knew it, permitted it, and as far as you know, took no steps to put an end to the practice. Withdrawn. Mr. Davidson, during the time you were a prisoner of war at Andersonville, did you actually see a man torn by dogs? And I refer now to a situation where works was present. Yes, sir. Tell us about it. I saw that after tunneling out of the stockade with another prisoner. We got maybe 15 miles from the camp before the dogs treated us. Guards ordered us down. And I saw those dogs tear my companion. And Wirtz was there, wasn't he? Yes, sir. Captain Wirtz rode up a minute after that pack of dogs were treated, yelling, Get those Yankee bastards! Begging your pardon. And he was present while those dogs were tearing your companion? While they were tearing him? Yes, sir. And what was Wirtz doing while they tore him? Damning that man to hell. Bed. His eyes starting out of his head, like the fit was on. Can you recall another instance? An instance in which a prisoner was brought back to the stockade. Before we hear the answer, we will ask the judge advocate if he expects, as he indicated yesterday, to conclude his case today. We will make every effort to conclude. The court does not wish to exclude pertinent testimony, but we have heard a great number of former Andersonville prisoners testify. We are now trying to establish Mr. Wirtz's attitude when he was present on occasions where acts of great cruelty were practiced. We, of course, call only the witnesses we think necessary. Of course. And we cannot altogether control the amount of time it takes to question the witnesses. Naturally. But the court does not consider it necessary to hear further evidence corroborating facts alleged many times over. Will the government conclude this afternoon? We will conclude this afternoon, sir. Continue, Colonel. Mr. Davidson, the question is, do you know of any instance in which prisoners, escaping prisoners of war were tracked down and actually killed by dogs? And again, I refer to an instance when Mr. Wirtz was present. Did you hear me, Mr. Davidson? Yes, sir. Well? I don't like to talk about that place, Colonel. State the circumstances. Was this time? A man from my prison squad escaped, tumbling through to the outside one night. But then, we heard the rumors he'd been captured by the dogs. And you actually saw that man being brought back into the stockade? Yes, sir. First through the gate is Captain Wirtz, on that big gray he rode. And then come two guards, and this man between them. And they was holding him, letting him go once he was inside that gate. He fell down. His legs was torn, and his throat laid open. His flesh torn about the legs, and his neck was bloody. And did he get up, or did he lie there? Made as if to get up, and then lay back. He didn't move after that. And where was Works during this time? Right there. Right where? Like I said, sir, he... We will hear it again, please, Mr. Davidson. <laughs> like I said, he rode in, and this man fell down. Captain Wirtz rode around him, looking down on him, reining in his horse, which was skittering and rearing. That was a horse with a temper. Then rode back through the gate. That will be all. Thank you.